Or three, two, one, and we're live. Welcome back to the Invictus Stream. My name is always is Harlan, and I am here with my fantastic friend Chris. Nice to meet everyone tonight. <laughs> my sexy friend Justin. Hey. And our brand new buddy, a friend that you all know and love, Mr. Entertainment himself, David. Yeah. <laughs> we are so excited to be here back. Uh, myself, after a bit of a hiatus, last week I had to take some time for myself, so I am so excited to be back with you guys here to do a little bit of a character creation for our campaign, Star Wars Age of Rebellion. Now, this is going to be a... I knew it. I got the wrong horn. This is the horn I wanted. Age of Rebellion, ladies and gentlemen. I am so excited. Justin has worked tirelessly on an expertly crafted campaign to entertain and enthrall us all. And uh, I, let me just say, I cheated, I went up ahead, I flipped to the last page so I know who dies and who lives, and he did an excellent job in really not giving us a choice at all. In fact, he wrote the whole thing. It's actually novelized already, you can buy it. Really, he just took one of those canon novels that everyone's so pissed that they cut out of the main, you know, the movies going forward, and he just made it into a campaign. So, well done, Justin. Excellent job. We are so proud of you. Instead of a horn, let's do a gong. <laughs> Welcome, all. Of course, this is not an 18-plus show. We might say some swear words, but I'm not going to go ahead and say it's 18-plus. I think most of the time we're pretty good, and the content that was you know, really 18-plus stayed back with Call of Cthulhu. As you can tell, I, I even switched over my picture of two ladies masturbating. I know. <laughs> it's frustrating. But you know what? Star Wars didn't have stuff like that. They didn't have swear words. Instead, they said things like, you know, you scruffy nerf herder. Whoa. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. 18 plus. Can I not use those words? That? No. Sorry. Uh, how about uh, ban bon bantha fodder? Bon bantha breath? That's a thing, right? Yeah. yeah. Punta, bantha fodder. Thing like that. Taki, tiki, waka, chiki, minifu, so we'll just swear like that. Um, of course, I do want to introduce you to our friend David. This was a person who was handpicked by our very own Michael. He said, I need someone to replace me, and I want David. You guys might know David from his uh, Get Messy, makes mis Make Mistakes little video that we posted there. David is a good friend of ours, and we want to welcome you, David. Are you excited to be here, Dave? So excited. <laughs> So as with all campaigns, we are going to start this little bad boy off with a bit of a character creation. So I'm not going to bore you with the please like this video and all that kind of stuff. Oh, please like this video and all that kind of stuff. And we're going to jump right into the character creation. If you want to wait, if you want to jump right into the action, you come back in an hour, and I'll tell you whether we're, we're ready to go yet. But most likely, I'm thinking, I think by 9 o'clock, we will be over the character creation, and we'll be good to go. So, without further ado, I'm going to throw it over to my good buddy, Justin, to start us off on this epic quest of creating the characters that you will watch die painfully at the hands of the Empire. Justin, over to you, my friend. Thank you very much. <laughs> actually, you know what's really cool, actually? Here, here, I'm going to show you guys something. I'm on the Star Wars website right now. And uh, I am going to, uh, we just walked into a bar. Welcome, everyone, to the character creation. My name is Justin James. And uh, you know what? We're going to go buy the book for this character creation. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you said the magic numbers. You said buy no. book. <laughs> buy the book. Buy the like book. That. <laughs> yeah, I know. No, we're going to go buy the book for this uh, character creation because uh, Fantasy Flight Games, they put together a really great system, and it's an interesting character creation that doesn't start off the same way as a lot of other character creations you've seen. In fact, you start with your background, and you end. The very last thing that you do is you create your name. Now... These guys, they've already made their names, so we're not going to worry about that. They have an idea of what they want to play. Um, but first things first, first step in character creation is to determine your background. Mm -hmm. uh, I was explaining to the guys a little bit about what I want the setting, what the setting is going to be for this campaign. And it is taking part in a 
a small corner of the galaxy uh, in the mid-rim known as the Dusk system. And the Dusk system is very small. It only has one planet, one habitable planet. And this planet is called Ebra. Right? You guys, uh, Ebra is an actual legendary planet. Yeah, Idris and, Elba, isn't it? Idris Elba, yes. Idris Elba <laughs> is, a, uh, is a planet. Um, very dark surface. Uh, <laughs> very, very charming respectable. surface. Charming surface, respectable. Yeah, it, was that, it, it was that planet that was featured in that really terrible movie called Pacific Rim. Yeah. <laughs> and they've been they've been wanting to been wanting to shoot a James Bond film on Ember, which I am in full support of. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, moving on, moving past that. Um, so this planet, it's it's picture Tatooine. Uh, it is a desert planet, more of a more of a wasteland planet. It's it's rougher than Tatooine. The reason it hadn't been settled earlier was because of the harsh surface, lots of um, desert storms and harsh, difficult creatures. Very difficult, you know. Uh, but for seventy five years, it's been colonized, and the characters are from that planet. They've never been off the planet. This is the only place that they live. And because it's such a harsh planet... We're the, ignorant farmers. What can we say? You're ignorant nerf herders. <laughs> Vapor farmers. Vapor farmers. Um, because they've never been off the planet, and it's not really a desirable planet, the Empire hasn't had much of an impact on the planet. A couple probe droids here and there just to see what the population was like, whether it was worth Imperial representation, but nothing to... Um, uh, what's the word? They're not too in your face on Ebra. So, they're not um, up in our shit. They're not up in your shit. They're so these characters, they've lived a relatively empire-free life, um, and they've been friends the entire time. So that's basically their backstory. I, I made their backstory up for them. So did you guys want to add anything to your character backstories? Yeah, um, my name is Tark Slayton. I uh, was a medic by trade, and I was... Uh, my father wanted me to be a surgeon, so I worked at the hospital, and they're watching his, you know, careful gaze and stuff like that. And I, because of him, he made me the man I, I wanted to become, uh, a man whose duty lies in the support staff, the people who help behind the scenes, the droids, uh, the women who sopped up the blood after a, a failed surgery. No, but I grew up in the hospital, and uh, because of that, I got a very steady hand when it came to the medical practices. And I wanted to become a medic in the militia or whatever this, this our small town would have. However, um, while my training was in medicine, I joined up, and they thought this guy's steady hands makes him a much better sharpshooter. So they put me into the sharpshooting division. Very quickly, I rose the ranks, and sure enough, we were put out in the field, the three of us, us three friends. You'll hear their side of the story later. But uh, so now I was raised a medic, learned the, the surgical trades. However, I also have my hand as a sharpshooter. And that's my backstory. It's also on the, the Facebook group if you want to read it in full because, you know, it's all written pretty. But that's me. And this is my best friend, number one, Crichton. Uh, as for myself, I also grew up in the same town as Stark. And by Stark, I mean Tark. And... Uh, the difference between us, though, is that I'm more of an optimist than he is. He's a little pessimistic, especially when it comes to the weight of the Force. And uh, my grandfather, although he died when I was young, he was my the only person who really raised me. Um, he used to take me out, taught me the ways of survival, uh, how to scavenge, how to take from the little resources that were available on the planet and make a living from that. And in doing so, I have become a very capable survivor, uh, but also a very avid believer in the Force. And I, I will argue till I'm blue in the face with Tark about this subject matter, as I feel the presence of it daily. I'm not necessarily completely against it. I just don't necessarily think it's what drives you. I think, well, I I think it does drive me, me Tark. Stark, it, it, uh, Tark, it does drive me, okay? And uh, okay. I think get if my name right, and talk. It, if, I'll get there. We'll get there. It's character creation. I'm allowed to have a few <laughs> slip up to begin with. <laughs> but uh, but then my other best friend, my more level-headed friend, Tal. Yeah. Tal, give us your run. Uh, okay. Well, I'm still figuring that out. <laughs> <laughs> and there's nothing wrong with that. Like, okay. You know what? I'm pretty moldable. Every day is a new, a new day for me. 
Nice. No, no, <laughs> that's not true. Uh, <laughs> uh, my uh, Tal, old Tal, that's me. Uh, I'm a pilot. Learned from my father and my uncle, who are both best friends with each other. So, lost my mother when I was young. So, I was raised by my yeah my dad and his brother. Um, uh, what else? Uh, yeah. So they taught me they taught me how to fly like land speeders and all that kind of stuff and and small aircraft. Um, I guess we can call it aircraft. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah. Um, and I'm obsessed with. Flying. Uh, what else? He's a fly boy. He's got he's got wings on his mind all the time. Yeah, yeah. I'm 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 uh, I'm I don't really have a stance on the uh, on the uh, what's it called on the force. I'm less mm-hmm. of a philosopher than the other two. Less mm-hmm. of a philosopher than uh, than a Crichton, and uh, less of a I I don't really think as pragmatically as Tark does. So. Um, no, I'm kind of right there in the middle, and I can just do what needs to be done. He's a he's a get her done mentality, our boy Tal. Yeah. Get, get to destination A so that we can get back to destination B. Exactly. Yes. And that's us. That's the team. <laughs> that's the team. I am really looking forward to this. Great backstories, guys. Um, that gives me a lot to work with. Uh, so there, there you go. You've got the backstories. Step two of the Age of Rebellion character creation. Who you shooting at there, Tark? Who you shooting at there, Tex? Ah, I thought I saw a womp ride. You know, I used to bullseye those in my E52. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so the next next step. <laughs> is <gonna be> difficult. <laughs> you didn't get it. I I kind of lost uh, focus there. Because the bullseye next... womp rides. Oh no. That's yeah, oh, yeah. It's yeah. It's uh. T16. So and so Skywalker. Who's that guy? <laughs> you know, Anakin. <laughs> the really cool Anakin. All right, push us forward. Number two. This is the tough section. Determine number two, duty. Is number two duty? Because <laughs> number two is determined duty. Oh. <laughs> oh so, okay. Okay. To laugh. <laughs> the Star Wars RPG system um, has oh, different okay. rewarding aspects to encourage role playing. Um, Edge of the Empire has obligations that you have to different crime lords. Um, uh, your Force and Destiny has your own, uh, what's it called, motivation or um, morality? Morality. And Age of Rebellion, they have tragically named this aspect of the game the duty. The poopy. So the step two is to determine your duty. Well, mine's got the corn. We, we knew that we were going to have a hard time uh, going through this on the stream, so we, we chose our duties beforehand. We got our duties. <laughs> um, so what are your duties? Uh, my, to- my duty is support. Um, individually, the lone agents of the Alliance don't stand a chance against the combined might of the Galactic Empire. Only by working together can they hope to achieve victory. And again, with my backstory being Tark growing up in the hospital, he saw that a lot of that support staff was absolutely vital to the people on the front line, such as his father, who was a surgeon. So that relates more so to my character rather than the rebellion, because Tark doesn't necessarily believe wholeheartedly in the rebellion, but he does believe in his friends, and his friends believe in the rebellion. Crichton, what's your poop? I mean duty. Oh, right. Uh, Well, I think the best duty for my character would be resource acquisition. There are never enough supplies to fully support those fighting against the juggernaut that is the Empire. And this PC, me, knows it very well. He's determined to seek out new sources of raw materials, food, clothing, weapons, armor, and equipment of all kinds. One spare crate of med packs can save quite a few lives, and a handful of com links can mean the difference between success and failure on a mission. He will trade, beg, borrow, and steal anything for the cause. Uh, again, my, my grandfather taught me how to survive in such a stark environment where very little is provided for us, but in doing so, I've become sort of a scrounger, able to uh, get enough, just enough to get by with the very little that I have. And friends. Don't forget friends. Oh, and friends. Friend, friends. Mostly friends. Tal, oh, show me your duty. Ooh. 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 Did you pick I, your I, 
Yeah, yeah, me? Yeah, go for it. Yeah, space superiority. Um, <laughs> uh, to me, the war will ultimately be decided in the stars and what the Alliance lacks in sheer numbers and more than makes up for in the quality and tenacity of its pilots. Every single space battle is an opportunity to show the rest of the galaxy that the Alliance not only can win the war, but is destined to do so. Um, even though I haven't been off the planet, um, <laughs> <laughs> I've read lots of books. Uh, well, not a lot. We don't have a lot of books on our... The library's only got five books yeah. on Womp Rats. But, and but yeah. <laughs> Al, your uncle, um, yes. he, is, he is actually one of the few people that regularly go, leaves the planet. Right, yeah, and he had, he's told me, you know, very snippets of, of, of stories past that have, you know, made my imagination run free. So I, I think that the, the rest of, yeah, like, like it said, what does it say there at the end? What am, I mean, what am I saying? Every single uh, space battle makes up. Yeah, every single space battle is an opportunity to show the rest of the galaxy that the Alliance not only can win the war, but is destined to do so. <laughs> Yeah, Perfect. as long as I don't have to fly. Don't get cocky. Don't get cocky, kid. <laughs> don't get pansy. All yeah, right, I so... Hold on. I think instead of quoting correct lines, we should quote lines just a little bit wrong to piss off all the starters. <laughs> <laughs> you, you scruffy-looking herf cattle. <laughs> it's just so wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I used to blow you know, my <laughs> swamp rats in my T-14. <laughs> The best pilot of X-Wing is Spock. <laughs> <laughs> May the Force be with you, said Gandalf to Frodo. <laughs> May the Force be with you. <laughs> yeah, and unsubscribe. That's yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what's number three? Uh, number three is to pick your species. So there's a number of different species. You could be a Bothan, you could be a droid, you could be a Duros or a Raw Monster humans. Party. For Raw variety, I picked human. Wookie. No, no, I'm a human. Okay, but what is your I'm ethnicity? What's your race? I'm What's Japanese. <laughs> <laughs> what what planet am I from? You're from Ebra. So uh, we're Ebronese. I mean, that's right. Yeah, but no, everyone but is... Like, but what's, your, what's your race? Like, what's your... Justin, what are you trying to get at? In the, a long time ago, <laughs> in a galaxy far, far away, race didn't matter. Yeah. No. Are you just trying to... You're trying to ask a question, and it's racist. Okay. Yeah, get, get to, get to <laughs> okay. the question. Doesn't sorry. matter. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> I'm blue? Fine. I'm sorry, people. I'm racist against blue people. No, we're all... I'm just... I'm white. <laughs> I, I'm white, but I'm often dirty. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. I'm a dirty it's white. I'm not being a black person. No, <laughs> I never said that. That is wrong, Justin. You're wrong. <laughs> wrong no. is such a... I just thought you wanted to talk about it. Those were all humans, and humans all start off with two in each category. And what do you mean by category? Categories are the... Mm. Well, Justin, tell us. Okay, you know what? Actually, I thought we were going to be able to skip over this, but there's actually a lot of very important aspects to being a human. Mm. So, you've got your characteristics on your character sheet, okay? Your characteristics are brawn, agility, intellect, cunning, willpower, and presence. Thank you, Chris. Yes, we can see that. That's great. Well, let me, let me turn it out. I can't see that. He's a goddamn liar. Here, I'll do it. <laughs> wah, wah. Here we go. So, we've got Tark's character sheet up. Tark. As you can see, he's got two brawn, three agility, three intellect, cunning, willpower, presence, yada, yada, yada. So that's uh, one aspect of being human is that you start off with two in everything. You are flat across the board, perfectly even, okay? And before you get into raising any of those, uh, you guys just remember that you've got two in everything, okay? Right. Right. Threshold. Your wound threshold as a human is ten plus, plus your brawn. Brawl. Brawn. Yeah. Brawn. Oh, my so you can see here that mine is 12 because my brawn is 2 and it's plus 10. Good math. Because I've already rolled up my character. And your strain threshold. Strain uses your willpower. That's essentially wounds is like damage. 
basically your hit points. Strain is works more like sanity. So if you are in a very stressful situation, like in Call of Cthulhu, then uh, you are going to be taking damage to your strain, and that is based on your willpower. So it looks like Harlan has a strain of 13. Which is my willpower plus my threshold, which was plus 10. And uh, because I took a grit, which is a sharpshooter action, which I took later on, it gains plus one thre uh, threshold. So that's why I'm at 13, in case you think I'm cheating. Right. Which I am, but not here. <laughs> we'll, get to that. we'll get to that later. All you, Tal, and Crichton need to remember or write down is that your total wound and strain threshold will be 10 plus, respectively, your brawn and willpower. Exactly. Right. All good, David? I think so. All good right. in the hood. All right. and upward. Starting experience. Now, what I hope you people at home who are also making characters are following along. Yes, actually, that's one thing. Thank you very much for reminding me, Harlan. If you guys are watching right now, uh, I am going to post a link to a uh, character creation form fillable sheet. So you guys can be following along and making your character. Um, and you can ask questions uh, to us, and at the end of a section, we'll stop and we'll answer if there are any questions within reason. We're not going to answer for 30 minutes or anything like that. But I am going to share it with you right now. Uh, do you have a question, David? Uh, no, I was asking about Soak, but I don't know if we got into that yet. No, Soak we'll do at the end. Okay. It's basically how much white bread you can have that soaks up any water that's spilled. <laughs> Or gravy if you really got money. Or gravy if you're made how, of fucking money. How porous are you? Yeah, that's what, that's what it means. How poor. Uh, and no, don't don't listen to him. Soak is soak is actually like your armor. It's how much how damage, how much you, damage you, you can absorb, absorb before. That makes sense. Yeah, before it actually hurts. Well, that's your Plus career and specializations. Okay. I'm a career soldier. So we are we are getting through the human special abilities. Start out with 110 experience points. And we also get two extra skills outside of our career yeah. choice. Outside of our specialization. Yeah, outside of our... So then we're going to be getting to skills. That's the end of the species specialties. And now we're going to move on to career and specializations. Now it looks like cool, you guys right? have already picked your careers and specializations. Oh, and yeah, we're a team. Because you are happy. See, we're, we're a team because David's doing it too, but he's doing it off camera. There we go, David. That's how we do it. The Imperials do not dance. <laughs> the Imperials stand no chance while the Rebellion dances. <laughs> <laughs> we're doing the safety dance. Shut up. S-S-S-A. Um, okay, so, Tark, why don't you start with your class? What are you? So I have picked the class Soldier, uh, mainly because I knew Chris was going with Spy, and I thought... Well, you don't know that. Tinker, 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 tinker Soldier, tinker. Spy. So, <laughs> well, no, you, well, I'm not, no, I'm not blaming you. I'm just saying, we, you know, it's your fault. So I went with Soldier, <laughs> and uh, I wanted to be a medic, um, because my father was a medic, and I wanted to be a medic like him. And then I realized that Sharpshooter would be a better one for our crew. So I actually took two. Now, you can take two if you spend the experience points after setting up your character. So if you have two specializations or two specializations within, or sorry, under the same class or two specializations under separate classes, you can still have them. You can be multifaceted, but it does cost a lot of experience points. That's why my skills were not as high. Uh, as... Question, David? Sorry? Uh, I was asking about Silk. I don't know. Sorry, what? Uh, we had someone say that uh, the feed was down. <laughs> just want to make sure that everybody watches. Like, right did that question just come up and then it's like repeated? <laughs> Let's see if I can think. I'm like, David, we just answered it. About <laughs> <laughs> <Sorry about> that. <laughs> oh, yeah, um, you can hear all of my audio. You can take multiple specializations. You'll see here I have medic and sharpshooter, and I, I started off with medic took all the career skills and things that the medic uh, allowed me to do. And you can see that here, that I have um, uh, career skills, uh, which were athletics, brawn, knowledge, medicine, blah, 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 blah. 
and then special career skills. And then afterwards, when I was spending experience points, I used 20 of them to add a second uh, specialization within my class, which I chose as sharpshooter. And that's why I, I lost 20 XP right at the gate. But I thought it was also more diverse. So I picked soldier. Anything under soldier's class allows you to pick those. But since my character is already done, why don't we spend more time on the people who are still picking their characters, and that way we can explain what each one does. But I'm a medic, sharpshooter, and my main class is a soldier. Perfect. Thank you, Harlan. And Crichton. Okay, you... well, here's here's the issue I've been having, because I thought Scout, you know, based on my understanding of Scout, would be one thing, but it, it kind of reading over it, it sounds a little different than I thought. Because, uh, I, I, you know, I was tempted to be more or less a, a melee fighter, uh, dexterous, stealthy, but I don't know if I can really do that with Scout. What do you think, Justin? Well, as a human, you do have access to two non-career skills that you can make into career skills to make you that stealthy Scout. But to a maximum of two. Yeah, so, there's, so you could pick Stealth, and you mm -hmm. could pick another skill that you think should be in the Scout category, or should be in the character. So don't you think it would be better then to go with a soldier commando and then add stealth to it? Because he's got uh, uh, survival already. He's got athletics and brawl. Um, you know what I mean? Well, it depends on the, the talent tree. Hmm. Uh, Looking at the talent tree here, uh, physical training and athletics, uh, gain plus two wound threshold, gain plus one strain threshold, wound threshold. You know what I mean? It could be... I can make myself pretty tough. But again... Is that the character you want to go for? I thought you were going for more of a... I'm trying to figure it out, because I'm thinking that I, I'm going to be using being up close fighting, so I, I probably won't need to be pretty good at it. Whereas if I'm looking at Spy, he doesn't really have that much for fighting. Well, a Spy for Scout has computer... computer. Deception, Knowledge Warfare, Perception, Skullduggery, Stealth. And then on top of it, you've got Medicine, al athletics. athletics, Piloting, and Survival. Yeah. So then for your, and then you've got two extra skills that you can make into class skills. Which I would end up doing, like, uh, <clears throat> I don't know, some of the other ones. Like, well, um, if you wanted, but if you wanted to go with, like, a melee fighter with like that, why not go Spy Infiltrator? Because you got computers, which we don't have right now. Cool, coordination, deception, knowledge, perception, skill, duggery, stealth, which I don't have any. And then your bonus are deception and melee, and skill, duggery, and streetwise. So you're basically melee, and you have the computer angle. Which yeah. It, see, the hard thing, the, the battle I'm facing right now is the difference between creating a power character, which is never good, I guess, and just going strict role playing and feeling a little useless. Because if I make myself role playing and go a spy, I feel like I'm going to take a lot of damage up close, and I'm not going to be able to deal as much damage. Whereas if I go the other way and play it as a spy, I don't know. It's a hard decision at this point. Uh, well, right now, if you want to go up close, you like I said, you've got two skills that you can turn into class skills. But the tree, is, it's the tree that's the problem. The, the tree is not. The tree is not very good for the spies. Oh, like mm -hmm. rapid recovery, forager. Yeah. Well, why don't you look over it, and we'll jump over to David. Fair enough. Give him because uh, yours looks like you get it, but you're still looking over some stuff. So we'll see if David. Have you looked at your ace skills yet? Uh, let me just see. Except here, specializations. Okay, the ace. Um, the so my talent tree. tree? Yeah. So you have the ace gunner. You have the ace uh, driver or the ace pilot. Uh, I went with ace pilot. I think. So. Let me see here. Ace pilot is very good if we're spending a lot of time in space, which might be but the I, case. Which might be the case, but we might, we, we, yeah, we might need to which figure out a bunch of stuff yeah. uh, on our rough planet as well. That's the other thing. Like, if you, were, if you were an ace gunner, you still have astrogation, you still have piloting planetary, and you have piloting space, but you yeah. also have ranged heavy, ranged light, you have resilience, you have mechanics. And I think a mechanic character... Yeah. Does Pilot have mechanics too? Oh, he does. It kind of makes sense with my backstory as well, actually, that I would kind of 
intuit how to do more than just, you know, riding around well, in space. That's the thing, because I, I get your character being like, oh, I want to go to space and stuff like that, but he still would have more skill on the land side because he still did grow up. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? So that's why yeah. I'm thinking, like, maybe you're more still grounded stuff, but you yeah. also have that. I would say... Gunner. Uh, yeah, ace yeah. gunner. I think, yeah, that sounds right. So then basically... Gunner. Yeah, so basically then what you have then is you have those... See those career skills? So ace gunner career skills are astrogation, cool, gunnery mechanics, perception, piloting planetary, piloting space, and range light. Those are your eight career skills. So because you're an ace... Those are the eight you get. So basically, you pick four of those on your sheet, on yep. the sheet that you have, and you put them to level one. Okay, so, see, so piloting planetary and piloting space are the two things that... Yeah, so do you yeah. have a sheet like this that's interactive? Uh, let me see here. I have the PDF that... Uh, I have the... Um, what's it called? Is it fillable? But, yeah, yeah, I have that. Well, you yeah. have the one in front of you anyway. So all you have to do now is then color in the boxes for the four that you want to move to level one. Right? Okay. So so okay. out of these eight, out of astrogation, cool, gunnery mechanics, perception, piloting, piloting, and range, color the four that you want as your ace career skills. So you said you want to do piloting space and piloting planetary, and I totally yeah. agree. So color yeah. those two. Okay. Yeah, I'm just going to do this on my syllable sheet. Okay. So these are the um, the ranks? Yeah. So you cover... So out of the four, the four out of those eight, you cover it. Okay. I'm going to go with piloting planetary, planet, planet, uh, piloting space. I think I'm going to go mechanics. Definitely mechanics, yeah. Uh, and then the last one is either uh, gunny, was it gunnery or... Um, well, or gunnery to my one. knowledge, and I could totally be wrong, but gunnery to my knowledge is like gunning in a ship. So since you're piloting, I don't think gunnery would be very useful f for you because if you're flying it and we're in the ship with you, we're going to be using gunnery. You're going to be using gunnery. Yeah. Uh, what was the other one? Astrogation? Astrogation is uh, like navigation the stars. Again, uh, personally, yeah. I'd go, I would go ranged light because that would give you allow you to use weapons, like if we're getting a brawl, right? Yeah, where is that on here? Oh, it's over. Oh, okay, ranged. It's under the actual combat skills. Ranged heavy would be more. Uh, well, you also can do ranged heavy as well, but ranged heavy is like machine guns and shit. So, what kind of fighter do you want to be on the ground? Do you want to be a guy that uses your fist, uh, a pistol, or a small blaster, or like a big heavy blaster? No, yeah, a pistol, small blaster. So that would be ranged light. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So cool. then. As, okay, so you filled in those four. Now, yeah. as your gunner, because you picked a gunner under ace, you get to fill in two of these four, either discipline, gunnery, ranged heavy, or resilience. Uh, so now, and anyone who's following along at home, if you have a duplicate in this category that was in the first one, you can move it up to tier two. So, for instance, you had the option to pick gunnery in the first category, right? Discipline. If you picked it the first time, and now you're on to the actual gunnery bonus, you could fill in it again. I'm going to say... Um, I'm just wondering what the most... what the best thing is. I'm going to say resilience is one. Resilience is good. Yeah. 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 I would I, I would go resilience, yeah. Resilience and uh, I don't know. Is discipline gonna help us or discipline It seems a little vague. Yeah, like let me read it. Thing. Because all these have ex explanations. Let me read yeah. what discipline does. Discipline, my understanding is that it's there's going to be times when you're going to be faced with insurmountable odds, and you're going to have to do a fear check. Mm -hmm. Discipline um, makes you more likely to stay and fight than to lose your cool and run away. That's not resilience? What's the difference? Like, discipline is like the before you start fighting, and resilience is during fighting? Uh, discipline is... Resilience is more physical. Really, okay. Resilience is like... Okay. For you, like, how can you with, withstand the weather? How how well can you withstand? Uh, right, right, okay. Yeah. 
I don't know. What do you guys think? I know it's supposed to be my character, but Harlan's uh, kind of chose my arm. Well, now <laughs> maybe I was wrong about gunnery. Is gunnery like shooting from a ship, Justin? That is shooting from a ship. Yeah. Okay, I thought so. Then yeah, you don't. Well, if, if you're mount, piloting, what? That's like mounted turrets. Yeah, but if you're like piloting an X-wing and you're shooting, what is do you? Is that gunnery? Use? Yeah, is that gunnery? I don't think so, actually. That is a good. We'll, would that be ranged heavy? I don't think so. It might be. It might be gunnery. If it is, then I'll take gunnery because yeah. that'll be helpful. At that point, that would make sense. Yeah. Okay. Where are the other explanations for these? I can't seem to find them in the book. Oh, combat skills. Oh no. Gunnery. Larger weaponry that generally requires a mount. So turret placement use effectively conveyed by the gunnery skill. It covers vehicle mounted guns, which to me would then be well, maybe not, I don't know. I don't think uh, so. Starship uh, starship weapon systems as well as stationary platforms for d devices such as E web repeating blasters, proton torpedoes. Gunnery weapons cannot be used against targets engaged with the weapon and its users. So I, I, I think it is. I yeah. think it sounds like it. So okay, then I'll um, like Yeah, I'll do it. I'll do gunnery. That then. makes sense. I'll do some research this week, and um, I'll look into it. If it isn't, then for the purpose of this game, we can say that it is, or we can flip your character a little bit throughout the week to make it fit. Cool. Cool. All right. Okay, so I have decided. I have decided to do Infiltrator. Okay, well, hold on. So, but then, David, you also get two more. As a human, you get two more non-career skills. So now you can pick two of any category that aren't in your career and put them to rank one as well. Okay. But they can't uh, be in your career, so you can't, can't be in your career. Yeah, so they can't be... Uh, yeah. I'm going to go... Um, do you already have no negotiation, or do, do either of you have negotiation already? No, and you know what? We need a talkie-type character, so why don't you do that? I'll go to negotiation. And I'm the one who it kind of fits with my character because I was the one kind of between you guys a little bit anyway. Yeah. You get dispatched. Okay. And These are my, just so you know, this is what I've picked. So I have two in cool. I have two in medicine, obviously. I have I have one in perception, survival, vigilance, uh, light range, and I have a two in heavy because a sniper's heavy. And then I have one in warfare in intellect for some fucking reason. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, so you're gonna do sorry, you said you're gonna do coercion? Uh, I was going to oh, go to negotiation. 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 Yeah. Um, and I'm going to go with... Uh, Do you, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Gosh. Maybe coordination? I don't know. You could. Um, um, apparently we're still down. Yeah, well, there's a few people watching, so I don't know what's going on, but... We can try kicking it back up again. Yeah. Well, I mean, let's get through the character creation, and then we'll we'll fiddle around with it for a bit, try to get it working for the, the actual game. Yeah. yeah. We, we have to close the video down for the next game anyway. So anyway, that's that's where you're at. So Chris, now you said you're doing the Infiltrator? Yeah, I decided to do the Infiltrator. So first thing I would do is check off one rank for all the skills, or no, how many skills for four get? of the... So your eight career skills... Yeah, are listed there. Do you have yeah, them? Computer, or do you them com computer, cool, coordination, reception, knowledge, warfare, perception. So you move four of those eight to, to one. one. Yeah. Okay. So I'll do. Has anyone picked computers yet? No. Go computers. Cause we I'll do them. perception, computers, knowledge, and stealth. Um, what are your four? Because I have one in perception. Not to say you can't, but I'm just trying to think of something we haven't covered at all. I want to do perception for sure. Okay. Just because uh, I feel like it's a definite character thing. You don't need to justify. You can do whatever you want. Okay. Uh, let's try this again. Computers, cool, oh, coordination, sure. deception, knowledge, perception, skull, dagger, and stealth. Yeah. Stealth for sure. Computers for sure. Computers for sure, because that would make sense. Because we don't have anyone that does computers. Is there one? Is computers different? For, is there mechanical? Mechanics. There, there is mechanics, me. yeah. I've got mechanics. Yeah. Think of the agility. Um, coordination, knowledge, perception, street. 
Mm. Now, do I have to pick from one of the bonus ones? Is that separate? Yeah, so you picked four of those eight? Uh, not yet, but I will. Okay. Computers, I'll pick, I guess, because I might as well. Got that. Coordination, I'll take, because I think that sounds like a good one to have. How come coordination is not on here? Oh, it is in there. It just highlighted funny. Agility, okay. And what else do we want? <clears throat> okay, and deception, stealth, computers. What is cool, Justin? What is cool good for? Uh, cool determines your initiative if you aren't surprised. So if you are flying up to the Death Star, you know what's there, then that would be a cool check. Okay, I'm going to pick cool as well. Because I, I can see some of my other ones, like, um, yeah, I'll do that. So they, uh, so uh, everybody who's watching the stream, um, well, a lot of people who are watching the stream can't actually see it, apparently. Um, and so we might have to restart. We might have to restart this. Yeah, but if we restart it, it uh, had a little work. We could post well, half the video and then post the other second half. Yeah, or just edit them together. Well, my thinking is in 15 minutes we're going to hopefully be done this and then start the other thing. Is it really worth restarting just the character creation? Maybe not. Yeah. I'm thinking we just power through this. Because people, regardless, it will still save on YouTube, so you can watch it after. I say we just power through this. I'll message them while you guys finish your characters, and if we finish in 15, we'll just start the game. Sounds good. Okay, so um, Chris, have you decided okay. on your... So I, so I picked my four uh, career skills. Now what? Okay, so you picked your four career. Now you get you went with infiltrator, right? Yeah. So I get two other ones of my choice because of uh, I'm a human. Yeah, but first, first you pick the four of you pick two of these four: deception, melee, skullduggery, or streetwise. So and you move the, the bonus skills. You mean? Yeah. yeah. Deception. Me I'll take, pick melee. Melee. Which okay, melee is not on my sheet. It's under uh, fighting. Or combat. Okay. okay. Melee, and I'll pick also uh, Deception. No, I'll pick, uh, yeah, I guess so. How many do I get, you said? Two, Two of, of the four. Two. Streetwise. So, so far you should have a total of six after this that okay. are in rank. Two, Melee, <coughs> Deception. Okay, so I have six now. Perfect. Okay. Now you get two non-career skills in rank one. Okay. What is brawl versus melee, Justin? Is brawl bare hands? Yes. Okay. So then I will pick uh, athletics, and I will pick uh, what's resilience good for, Justin? Resilience is how how much of the like weather you can take? So, park. What's okay, the and survival? What's that good for? Survival is like if you're stranded out somewhere, how well you are able to adapt to your environment. I'll pick mechanics, and that'll be good. Mechanics? Yeah, isn't that good? Yeah. Well, he's got mechanics as well. Okay, then I will go for survival. Survival. Survival yeah, makes sense. Yeah. Character being a scout going out in the landscape and yeah, oh, he's he's an infiltrator now, remember? I'm still a scout. Well, I'm still a spy. You're a spy, spy. Okay. All right. So now what? Anything else? Uh, well, you guys have both picked your six skills. Yep. I I have one more. Uh, am I supposed to tell you about it? Yeah. yeah. Um, I think I was gonna go with, I think I was gonna go with melee as well. Um, I don't know. Does that make sense? Cause yes. Yeah, I'll get two of us on that. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Melee. <clears throat> All right. So everybody's got a combat skill. Everybody's got a um, uh, other skills, hopefully, too. As long as everybody has at least one combat skill, I think you'll be okay. All right. So the next step, step number six, is to invest your experience points. So once again, like I said uh, before, is you have 110 experience points to spend, 
and you can do with them however you like. Um, to increase one of your characteristics, it is 10 experience points. To increase your rank in a skill, like brawl or melee, that costs 5 experience points if it is a career skill, and then it costs a little bit more if it's not a career skill. And then your... And then the last thing is to purchase a talent within your specialization tree. So within is your a, is the bonus career skill still considered as career skill? Yes, right? Yes, it is. Yeah. Okay, so it's five for the character, or it's ten for each level of characteristic, and then five for each level of career skill, and then ten for non-career skills. Um, yeah, it's, it's ten for non-career skills at this point. Basically, it's it is, you would pay the normal amount for a career skill. Mm -hmm. um, actually, sorry, I should, I should specify. So the, the characteristic, it is 10 points times multiplied by the level of characteristic that you want to buy. Right, so Ooh, level 3 is 30. Exactly, it's going to cost 30 points. Um, same sort of idea with your skills. If you want to improve, improve a career skill... Um, like melee that you guys picked, if you want to improve it to level two, then that's going to cost five times what the level that you want to increase it to. <clears throat> and at character creation, you can only train skills to a maximum of level two. Except for character, and characteristics can go to a maximum of five. Characteristics can go to a maximum of five to begin. Okay, and what about this skill tree? Do those take XP too? Yep, the skill tree takes experience points. Uh, the cost is on the skill itself. Though. Also, if you want to purchase a new specialization, then that's going to cost 10 times the amount of specializations that you have. So if you are a scout or an infiltrator and you want to purchase a new tree, maybe you want to purchase... like. <laughs> Medic tree, then that's going to cost you twenty experience points. No, I think I think it's only it's only times ten if it's in your career. I think it's more if you're going outside your career. Oh, okay. Like yeah, because I know like I'm a soldier and I have medic and sharpshooter because they were both under the soldier. But if I wanted a scout, I think I can't remember how much more, but it costs more because it's outside of my career, especially my career. So, wanting to be force sensitive, how much is that going to cost me? Force sensitive. Um, I believe I I think it only costs you twenty. I didn't read anything. I hear what you're saying. I understand what you're saying, Harlan, but I don't remember reading that. No, I think because I think force sensitive doesn't have a career skill associated with it. That's why. Right. So I think it's just twenty. <clears throat> yeah. I, I, I'll, I'll read the passage about the thing because I remember reading it. Oh, I remember, I remember. I don't know. Okay. So non-career specialization costs 10 additional experience points. So to become Force-sensitive, Chris, you would have to spend 30 experience points. No, because it doesn't have a career. He'd be okay, I'm pretty sure. I think with the Force, it's different. I'm pretty sure he doesn't have to. Does not have any secures. So when oh. a character purchases this specialization, you automatically receives a Force rating one. Have the character as a force rating one, he does not improve. Um, maybe not. Yeah, it is. No, okay. The experience cost to take it is 10 times the total number of specializations that the character would have with and including the new specialization. So it is 20. Okay. Yeah. <coughs> so I, I, can, I can do this later on, right? You can do this yeah. later on. You don't have to do it. At the I think I'll do it later guys, on because it makes yeah, sense right now to put the most into characteristics because we can't do that later on. Exactly. Those are the only things you can't do later on. So why don't you do that? Because we got ten minutes. So why don't which? It, so I want to do. If you want to increase any of your skills that are two to three, we'll do them one by one. So anyone who wants to create their char increase their characteristics now, let it be known. Uh, so let's be. So to move it from brawn from two to four, I'd have to first do two to three, and then three to four. Yeah. So it would cost seventy XP. Okay. <clears throat> Here. So three seventy. Um, so. I'll put my um, agility up to three. Okay, so that costs thirty XP. 
So then you have 110, so just minus 30 and keep going. Yeah. And you can also see on your um, character sheet which skills might uh, require which roles, like which are going to be beneficial to you. Yeah. Well, like, for example, you can see in brackets next to cool, right? It's it's PR, presence. meaning that, yeah, the presence is going to change the cool role. Yeah. Well, that's why <coughs> all the piloting stuff is agility. Yeah, makes sense for so sure. So, Justin, to go up in skills... Uh, by rank, it's five for the trained ones. Every rank, or is it five, then ten, then twenty, or something like that? Uh, it is five it, for trained ones. It is five times the number. So, so for the second point, it's two. So you can also to so a total of ten points for the second one. Ten points for the second. One. Yeah. Okay, so I'll do that for. You can only go to two. You can't go past two at character creation. Okay. And we can only. I'm done. Okay. What have so you got? I put my brawn at four and my willpower at three and my melee at two. Okay. And you're going to keep 20 duty. <clears throat> well, what can I do with duty? You can spend 10 duty to get down to 10, and then you will have an extra 10 experience points. Or I can get extra money for buying stuff. Or you can get extra money for buying stuff, yeah. Should I just save? Okay, so... But are you saying we're starting with certain equipment anyways? You are going to be starting with certain equipment, yeah. We are? Not stuff that we have to buy ourselves? Uh, certain things. So you're starting with a land speeder, and you're going to be starting with some equipment um, that you would have if you were tasked with going out, right? Oh, so like, because I, I spent all my credits on my sniper. Would I have that then? You would. Your sniper is your investment. All of your weapons are your own investment. Oh, okay. Uh, the speeder for getting around <laughs> is provided by the outpost. Okay, so to you. I will use 10 of my duty to get extra um, experience points. So how much do I get? Um, if you're using 10, you get 10 XP. Yeah, 10 XP. It's equal to how much you're spending. Okay, and if I... Can I do it twice? No, you can't do experience points twice. You could spend five to get uh, five string XP. And then that would be it. Okay, well, I need ten anyways to go up in something. So I will do ten in... Melee? No, I, I, I've already done melee once, so I can't afford it. Mm. I was thinking I stealth. Brawn, though. I did a lot in Brawn, yeah, so that'll be good. So maybe do, like, athletics or something, because athletics is brawn, too. Uh, yeah, I was thinking that. Yeah, like, okay, it's going to be worthwhile, right? Like, if you spend yeah. points, you might as well put in something that's going to be... I'll do it, and then for my last 10, I'll use it for the cash so I can afford the um, the staff that I want. We can we can buy things later on with experience points that are gained, though, right? Like, uh, yes. stuff like that? Yes, okay. you will. But you can't buy characteristics later on, so make sure your characteristics are as high as you can make. Yes. So, yeah. David, what are you, what are you increasing? Uh, I've increased agility. Oh, but we can increase our skills as we go along, because that's what you're saying. Yes. So you can increase uh, your your characteristics by spending the amount that you're increasing it to. You can increase your skills by raising them a, a level versus it's like ten to go up one. Or so basically, 15, in my yeah. opinion, at this point, we should all have tried to raise our Characteristics. characteristics as much as possible. <clears throat> okay, I should probably work on something else then. Chris, I will tell you that you do start out with 500 credits. Which, how much does one of those polearm things cost? 500 credits. Four spike. Oh, so, and I'll just buy that and use my last... I can't use my 10 to tell my character any, anyways. Oh, yeah, you could buy talents. You don't have any talents. What are talents? Oh, right, right, right. You're so, talentless. Right. I bought three talents. I remember last time, though, the talents weren't as important. They were good, depending on what they were. What page we is the talents played, on? Well, we only played one game last time. That's true. We don't really know. What page no, is the talents on? Uh, they're under your specialization. Uh, page 80 or so, or whatever, 89, 30, or 90. Oh, yeah, got it. Diplomat, let's see here. Almost there. Great. How are you doing? What are, what are your characteristics looking like? Me? Yeah. Uh, 
I, I think I'm going to put my agility up to four. Okay. Um, which leaves me with uh, 40 left. Um, I'm wondering what else I should put up. I wonder if I should put Brawn up one. I don't know. Brawn is... Every time you attack, your Brawn will be added to the damage that you do. Okay. And even with... Except with range... With gunnery and range is both agility, so that's going to be added to my those attacks, right? Yes. Yeah. So I don't... But I only have... I have, like... Melee is just kind of a thing that I need. Maybe I'll... Uh, Dang. Any suggestions? What do you guys... Um, do whatever you think would be good. I mean, wh whatever your character would want, you know? Hmm. Like, I didn't... I didn't. When I played this last time, I, I put my characteristics as high as I could. I didn't do that this time. I more... Rather than... I only moved up two to three, my two most important ones... Okay. And I put more skills in them. Because I agree, it's the only time you can do it, but also it, it kind of balances out. Like, you could have three in agility, but add four ranks in shooting. Yeah, and it's going to even out. Well, that's the problem, because, like, agility is great, but then I'm also, I'm not, I don't use gunnery. I don't use uh, coordination. I don't use half the things agility needs, like piloting. Right. But I do want high shooting. So I didn't bother lo raising my agility that much, but I did raise my range skills. Right, 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 right. right. So, so, like, if you're yeah. if you're going an all agile character, which piloting, shooting, gunnery, perception, Ranged. coordination, then putting your maximum character at, at agility yeah. high. Okay, sense. and I'm gonna ignore everything else, <laughs> and then I'm gonna put. Uh, oh, what did I have? Um, right now, I'm gonna start with. Um, I'm gonna move my planetary um, piloting up to two. Okay, so that costs... Ten, right? Yes, ten to move. It's a career skill. So, yeah, you're good. it's ten. Because if it's non-career, it's five plus ten or something. I don't know. It's fucking yeah. <laughs> um, and I think I was going to go... Uh, and you can also do talents, right? Because you're like a space ace, right? Right, all, right. And I'll look at your gunnery thing while you're doing that in case there's a cool thing. So right off the bat, you could spend 5 XP and gain one strain threshold, which means you're more resistant to strain, which is things that, like, stresses you out, right? Okay, yeah, I'll take that out. From my... so there's, well, there's also... Uh, may reduce any critical injury suffered by 10 rank per durable to a minimum of 1. So every time you get critically injured, there's, a, there's like, a roll. And the higher the rule, the worse it is, right? So you can reduce it by 10. It's good, but eh, maybe not right now. Okay. okay, cool. So I ended up grabbing Frenzied Attack and Grit. That was my two things to spend my last 10 points. Cool. So you're going more melee than spy-ish, right? Yeah, more or less. I'm going to be... Uh, well, I eventually want to be force sensitive, so... Uh, that's kind of what the book suggests doing is more of a. So did you spend the twenty? Or you spend the twenty to do the the four sensitive skill tree, or are you gonna do that later? Right? I'm doing that later. I'm gonna try to discover that later. Cool. So well, with you, Chris, did you? How much duty did you spend? All of it. Okay, so you can only spend fifteen. So you'll only be able to take one of those skills or talents. Oh, why? You need to keep at least five. You said. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, then I will take Frenzied Attack. Yeah, I'll take Frenzied Attack. And then later on, I'll take Grit later on. Frenzied right. Attack's the better way to go, too, because it unlocks that path. Otherwise, right, so I can make different decisions later on. Which brings my uh, strain threshold back down a little bit, but that's not a big deal. Okay, so I'm set, I think. Okay, you're good. Looking at if you're just spending 500 credits on your pike, then you're then you're golden. Okay, pike. And what's the damage for a pike? Uh, look it up. It, it'll okay. be in, um, the list. Cool. And David, how are you doing? So I have 30 experience points left. Um, plus, I can allocate 15 of my duty points. Is that right? If or you I... want, you can do none of them if you don't want. 
Um, okay, and then how much does it cost for it? So then I can start looking at things in my talent tree as well? Yeah, if you'd like. You can do that right off the beginning instead of raising anything else, but it's usually better to raise characteristics. Yeah, so your raise talent tree, I would, do the, I would do the probably the grit, so gain one threshold. That's five XP right there. Okay. Now I have thirty. So I have thirty left, so I could raise up a characteristic if I wanted to. You could also do that. Yeah. Um, do you think that's a? I'm wondering if that's a good idea. Did you raise? What skills did you raise? Okay. So I raised. If you want, you can screen share it too, eh? Uh, I don't know how to do that. There's a little green arrow on the side. You click that, and then it will open the window that you want screen shared, and then we'll be able to see it. Okay. Just a second here. Sometimes it's easier than trying to explain it. Yeah. So a little green arrow. So. Uh, okay, here we go. Here we go. There we go. You can see it? Yeah. So scroll up to your stuff. Okay, so you got gunnery. Oh, go back down. I wanted. I was curious about your skills. Mechanics, because you could raise mechanics to two, because none of us have mechanics, and you being a pilot and like a driver, you might have a really good. Right. Okay. Yeah. Mechanics, and I've got planetary up to two. I've got gunnery up to two, and I've got ranged light up to two. Yeah, because those are ten each, right? Uh, so so ten. Yeah, because they're all career, so you're fine, and you spent thirty, so yeah. And then that would give you twenty, and then you could buy grit, and that would give you fifteen left, and. Yeah. Then you could do durable if you wanted, and you could do toughened. That's what I. You know what? That's what I would do. I would. Yeah. I would raise mechanics. And that gives you twenty left, right? Yeah. So then, if you look so. on my screen for a second, I would. I would personally, and you totally, totally don't have to, but I would do these three. Um, uh, in your talent tree. Okay, I would durable. do. Yeah, I would take grit, so you get one strength thresh, uh, strain threshold. Durable. And the only reason I would take durable is because it unlocks toughened, which you gain plus two wound threshold. Okay. So I would do those because that's a total of 20, so you get plus two to your wound threshold, making you tough all over, plus one yeah. strain. And then this is useful too, but... All right, sounds good. All and right. then just add them to... Uh, add them down here. You see how I put mine? Uh, okay. So I yeah, have three yeah. skills, and then you just put what they're about, and that way you don't have to keep checking. So I have sniper shot. So I know before making a non-thrown range attack, I can increase the weapon's range up to one, and I have train, and then grit. I also have down here, so I don't forget. Cool. All right. I'll cool. Do that then. Are you yeah. guys ready to start the game? Game then. Do I have to buy a weapon or something or what? Uh, yes. What do you picture yourself using? Um, um small blaster mostly. Small blaster. Okay, you're not going to do too much melee. Pardon? Are you going to do any melee? Um, yeah. All right, so then what you can do is you can get a uh, vibro knife is 250. Okay. And then you can get a small blaster, which is... A holdout blaster is 200. Okay, that's cool. All right. And then you've got 50 left, and then everybody roll a 1d100, and that's your starting credits. Oh, right. But you can't use that. I remember reading you can't use that to buy more it's stuff. Just, yeah, it's going forward. Exactly. Okay. I'm going to close this down. I'm going to email you guys all back, and we are going to start the actual game. Cool? Okay. I'm going to start yeah. telling you. These guys are being very patient. So I think I got uh, 71 as my starting credits. Sure. Perfect. Oh, I didn't roll mine yet. I'll roll at the beginning. All right. We'll, I'm going to email you. Check your email right now.